It's scary. It's scary. It's the same concern many dog owners have about a deadly respiratory illness found and making its rounds in states near Montana. I even kind of thought because I take my dogs out to confirmation practice and I thought, oh, do I want to take them? It's made Andrea Geno think twice about taking out her eight-year-old French bulldog, Lizette. She's a retired show dog. Um, has done very well. She's a grand champion. So keeping her safe is her highest priority. But yeah, it's it's pretty concerning because they can get pretty sick pretty fast and can't breathe. Here at Billings Animal Family Hospital, Dr. Edie Betts says there's a heightened concern coming from her dog owners. Just people are on such high alert that now they're they're just thinking, oh my gosh, is it is it this? You know, is it here? My dog's sick. After more than 200 cases reported in just one Pacific Northwest state and confirmed in 16 states around us, Dr. Bess has not seen it hit her clinic yet, but fears it will. It's probably just like everything, right? Everything gets to Montana eventually. It just takes a little bit longer. Still, she, along with other veterinarians, find this respiratory illness found in dogs both hard to diagnose and difficult to treat. Because we don't know the pathogen that causes it. It's so obscure right now. It's nobody knows. And there have been there have been people, you know, doing cultures and trying to identify the organism and no one's identified anything specific. Out in the show world, Jeno says she heard rumblings about the illness weeks back. What the story was, it came from the Golden Retriever National. A handler brought a sick dog and then dogs got really sick from that. And then it kind of just went from there. But she's moving forward and staying cautious. It's not going to probably hold me at home. In Billings, Andrea Lutz, MTN News.